the director penalty notices are have climbed to 26,000 as the Australian Taxation Office hunt down old debts. Now, Julian, can you please explain to people like myself that are perhaps new to this, what is this? What is this $4.4 billion the tax office is trying to recoup from old debts? Please tell me. Yeah, so I'll, I'll provide some context. Like in, our, in our business, we're seeing a lot of um, small business owners come to us and they're looking for funding to uh, get them out of tax debt. And so, um, you know, this was... It was, I would say, not very common not that long ago. And the reason for that is the ATO used to provide pretty flexible payment plans and help businesses, you know, you know, um, get on the right track and, uh, you know, even sometimes negotiate the tax debt down and things like that. Now they're, like, they're enforcing at a degree we haven't like, pretty much ever seen. Uh, and, you know, it's led to record insolvencies in businesses. Um, and, you know, the, the largest instigator of insolvency in this country is actually the ato now and right. and, that, and that's um that's eye-opening but essentially what happens is if a business runs up some tax debt and we know in the last few years businesses haven't had it easy you know i think 2019 there was the the fires and lots of businesses suffered there uh, and they you know it took a while to get back 2020 we had you know first round of COVID. 2021 we had the second round and then we've since then we've had rising cost of living, inflation, uh, cost of goods have gone up, supply chain issues, all these things. Businesses that have survived this last sort of five years um, haven't had it easy. And, um, you know, so they need to pay their suppliers, they need to pay their employees and, and things like that. So usually the first thing that they will maybe let slide a little bit is te- uh, their ATO payments. So that might be the BAS, you know, they usually lodge that quarterly. Inside the BAS, you've also, you've also got, you know, the PAYG tax for their employees and things like that. So um, now what's happened is uh, the ATO is saying, you know, we were, f- you know, flexible back then um, through COVID, all that kind of stuff. Now we want our money. And um, it's essentially they're issuing these director penalty notices for unpaid taxes. And it doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. and um, But um, they're using this this sort of, Um, legislation not the way that it was intended they're using it and essentially weaponizing it i would say um to effectively when when the director penalty notice is issued the directors are then personally liable for that tax debt so that means that they can't escape it um you know they can't you know wind down the business and 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 you know sort of let it go that means the ATO is able to take their personal assets including their houses including their including including potentially cars yeah, absolutely. Right, right. And so that that's the that's the scary part, you know. If businesses business owners haven't had it easy in the last five years, um, you know, and then now they're being hit with this. And so there was twenty six thousand seven hundred director penalty notices issued, um, which is a record. I think it's um, this sort of thing is unprecedented uh, mm. in our country, and and they're really just being super tough. Um, it's sort of what businesses can do to sort of, um, you know, if they if they are really struggling with that, they obviously can get funding. They can enter into payment arrangements with the ATO, but they do need to, um, you know, speak to an expert. And, you know, there's um, a new uh, or a newer program called Small Business Restructure. And that's probably a good way um, that people can um, restructure their tax debt, enter into an arrangement with the ATO and avoid having their personal assets um, be liable. Like I'm not somebody who does a small business restructure. Usually they're sort of insolvency style firms or accounting practices and advisories. But, um, you know, we're, we're sort of suggesting people look at that as a as a solution to prevent, you know, losing their house and the roof over their kids' heads. Yeah. So, you, sorry, I forgot to mention in the intro that you, you run um, Loans uh, AI. Yeah. Um, is that, sorry, was that the name? Loan Options AI. Yeah. Loan Options AI. And uh, I mean, what, what are you seeing like a large uptick in that with refinancing and people trying to you know, get get back on top of things or? Yeah, absolutely. And so you have, um, 